Well, the not I love him, though I ask for him. Just as such a peevish boy. Ugh. And yet he talks well. Pull up your eye for words. Uh, yet words do well, and he that speaks them pleases those that hear. Hmm? He's a pretty youth. I mean, not very pretty. Sure, he's proud. And if his pride becomes him, he'll make a proper man. You know, the best thing in him is his complexion. And faster than his tongue did make offense, his eye did heal it up. I mean, he's not very tall. But for his years, he's tall. And his leg is but so-so, and yet it is well. But there was a pretty redness in his lip. A little more bright and lusty red than that mixed in his cheek. It was just the difference betwixt the, the constant red and the, the mingled damask. <laughs> Let it be some women, Silvius. Had they marked him in parcels as I did, would have gone near to fall in love with him. But as for my part, I love him not. I mean, no, or hate him not. Yet I have more cause to hate him than to love him. For what did he do to chide at me? No, he said, mine eyes black, and my hair black, and now that I am remembered, scorned at me. <gasps> I marvel why I answered not again. Hmm. But that's all one. Omittance is no quittance. I'll write him a very taunting letter. And thou shalt bear it. Wilt thou, Silvius?